Just in case you need a reminder how to turn in a digital book report or you've been doing them on paper and you want to switch, like I hope you do, to turning them in digitally, uh, here's a tutorial on how to do that. So the first spot you want to get to your book report, hopefully you're at mrjarvis.net. You have this awful picture here on the front, so <laughs> sorry about that. Um, trying to be funny, I guess. So um, starting point on Google, go to your drive, get to the Google search page or get where you can open up your drive. Make sure you're logged in as you at home. And so once you're at your drive, I have the new drive where everything says new here instead of create. Yours might look a little different. You might have uh, um, the icon look. I kind of like the list look better. I'm just used to it. And uh, so you want to go to your name, double click your name. Then go to reading, double click that. And you have, we made several copies of book report forms. So um, if you think you're going to need more, um, open up one that you haven't written on yet. Um, it just has your name on, just has the directions on it. And select file, make a copy. And I like to take the copy of part off. So they're all in the correct order. And maybe just add numbers to them. Um, share it with the same people so that I can access it once you submit it on the form. And then I have another one open here. And I can make a copy of that one. So I just have plenty of copies. Because remember, when the book reports do, it's it's the minimum is one. I'm encouraging you to, you know, turn in several if you are so inclined. Are you able to do that? So I take off the copy of once again. And I, I like to just add a number. And share it with the same people. When you actually turn in your book report and you you finish this form, I'm going to encourage you to go up and just click on the title of the document. Um, if you don't have it, you might want to click on the arrow here, the down arrow, if it's not being displayed. That expands your options. Click up here and then give it the name that you're doing the book on. So let's just say I'm doing one on crash. And then dash and then it has my name. That just kind of ensures if anything happens or you want to get credit for your work. Then the important part is, and close out these tabs, every time I made a copy it opened in a new tab, is you're going to, even though it's shared with me, I, I want to get the, the actual URL so I can access it, find it easily. So you're going to give me that URL, so click share. And then here's the long uh, URL. I can access it because I'm on your list here. Uh, so I'll click it so it's highlighted, and then Control C for Control Copy uh, copies that. Then you just click Done, and then uh, the next place you want to go is MrJarvis.net. Whoops! Make sure you type it right: M R J A R V I S dot net. Hopefully, you won't have as much trouble as I did. And uh, here I am. I'm celebrating picture retake day with this awesome picture. But um, I put the link to the form where you're going to turn it in. I put one under resources here. So you just go turn in book report and you'll get it here. Um, the original spot I had it, it's there as well. This is the book report turn in form. Originally I had it under reading resources just to kind of clean these so I don't have too much on one site. And then right here next to Book Wizard, Independent Book Reports has some resources for that. Um, and then you can click there, Book Report Turn In Form. And it's the same form. It doesn't matter which one you go to. So just fill out the form. First, last name. That was Realistic Fiction. Like, so I think that was 520. I'll make sure you do it correctly, though. Your core teacher, Jarvis or Pace, whether it was too easy. I thought it was like kind of too easy, but I liked it. Paste the link here, Control V, the link to the report. So you should start with the HTTPS docs and just be long. And then you can make a comment. Uh, even though this book was an easy read for me, I found the subject matter to be interesting. 
and stimulating. That would be interesting. You know, you're not just picking a, a baby book that and like Crash is even though it's an easy read, has some interesting things to think about. And then simply click submit right here. And it's submitted. And then scroll up to the top. If you have another one to do right away, you can submit another response. Or if when you refresh the screen, that will come up as the form again. And you can turn in as many as you'd like for this first term. Uh, so um, I look forward to reading your book reports. Keep them coming. Keep up the good work. Thank you.